All right, we will turn on the table audio. <coughs> We'll keep it on low in the background. <laughs> if it gets too obtrusive, you just let me know, and I can uh, turn down or mute the table audio. That's not a problem. So we're getting these uh, rocks set up. I'm assuming uh, yeah, Dan won the uh, initiative toss. Uh, today I am commentating solo, so you got the sultry tones of just Dion. Um, I want to thank everybody for watching today, and uh, it's really appreciated. Big, huge thank you to my patrons who um, allow me to have all this great equipment uh, in order to stream these matches. It's really awesome. It's a huge, huge deal to me. And uh, if you want to become one of our patrons, um, that would be greatly appreciated. You can go to Gold. Uh, excuse me. You can go to patreoncom slash Gold Squadron and uh, subscribe there. We have some couple of new uh, Gold Squadron alt art cards that are going to be. Uh, I have already given the sketches, and I actually got the. Um, whoops! I'm breaking stuff here. I got a couple of more finished. Um, not quite finished, but the next step of the uh, the art on the quad jumper that we're getting done. And we're also doing a Jess Pava. Um, yeah, so it'll be, uh, those will be shipped out. Uh, we'll set a, excuse me, we'll shed a, wow, I'm tired, guys. <laughs> we will set a shipping date on those uh, once I get the finished art for those. Uh, you're welcome, uh, Mr. Beast of Beast. <coughs> so while we don't uh while we don't I'm sorry, give me a moment. So I know a lot of people are uh kind of sore sometimes on TLT. And I can get it. I can uh, understand that sometimes, you know, just seeing those dice being rolled over and over and over again can suck. But uh, let me uh, assure you that you can definitely still learn something from these games. So don't uh, don't check out. So we have. Nate deciding where he wants. He has to set up all his ships first. He's going to do a block formation, I'm assuming. Yep. I want to see if I can figure out which Y-Wing is which Y-Wing. Yeah, let me find out for me which Y wing is which, and which ones have the and which one, which one has the bombs too. Great, got it. Thank you. Mhm. Mm so. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Cool. Got it. So we'll do our best to uh, keep it straight here. Which Y-Wing is which? So again, one, two, three, and four there. I realize you can't see me pointing with a mouse. but <laughs> Bottom left uh, of the Y-Wing block is one. Above that is two. Um, bottom of the back row is three. And the scum Y-Wing... Uh, alternate paint job there is number four. Three and four are the ones with the bombs. Now as we're going on the way, you can feel free to ask any questions uh, that you may have about the match or about today's event. I have a lot of the data. Not everything is, uh, you know, I have all the lists. I don't have 
um, you know, the list of all the competitors yet, final standings and all that. I'm going to be posting those to, um, what you call it, posting it to List Juggler uh, when I get home today. Yeah, Darth Revan, I mean, for for Dan, his all of his ships have higher pilot skill than Nate's. And really what it's going to come down to is Nate wants to, to have Dan chasing him and staying at range 2 and 3 and be able to pluck him off. Now, I'm interested to see how the lightweight frame comes into effect. Uh, in this game for both the quick draw and backdraft. All right, 75 minute timer has started. All right, looks like they're all moving together in some type of formation. Hard two away. I mean, this is this is what Nate has to do. He has to keep distance. He he cannot approach uh, Dan's squad. He just he'll get wrecked. So. So this is definitely going to take a couple turns for uh, for Dan to engage. And and Dan here, he he called it. He's like, he goes, all right. I know that you're going to turn away from me. Um, and this <laughs> this honestly can could become an issue. Um, for Nate pretty quickly um, Dan has all the lanes open the rocks are really spread out um, I kind of wish I think I mean he has spaces to put his Y wings in there but Dan has a perfect approach vector he can he can do basically whatever he wants he can either come around the corner or cut through the middle which is of course going to be the faster route Darth Revan, yes, I am still. I am going to come to the Ravenstone Store Championship. How did I place? I placed bad. <laughs> pretty, pretty, uh, pretty crappy day. I went one and three. A uh, lot of close games. My one win was Marcel, and I tabled him, which was hilarious. <laughs> exactly. This is my second star championship. I got third in the last one. So, averaged it out somewhere in the middle. Marcel was flying Fenrau, Old Tarak, and Guri um, with a 95 point initiative bid. And uh, in our game, so I'm at, I was at 96 flying Old Fenru. And he, uh, in the opening engagement, I was able to nuke Guri off the board. Um, and then Old Tarak, he was take he was taking he took shots the round before um, from Guri, Fen, and Tarak, and only took two damage. And that is that I saved the focus token for um, one of the last attacks that were coming in on me, and it didn't I didn't get to spend it, uh, and I could have spent it earlier and only make it one damage. Um, so that opening engagement definitely uh, definitely hurt Marcel. All right, here Dan is uh, is coming up that side of the table. He has the uh, he has the bank maneuvers and and barrel rolls available if he wants to go that way. Um, you know, Nate going slow here uh, with a one forward there, just trying to trying to get get a beat on if if Dan would give him any information. But I think Dan did the right choice, keeping straight, staying true, um, not to tip his not to tip his hand as to where he's going to be coming from. So if you ever play against quad TLT, um, they throw a lot of dice. And what you want to do is when you do engage them, 
you want to make sure that all of your ships can shoot at one Y-Wing. And in a perfect world, if you're outside of range of as many as possible, that'd be great. If you, even if, if you're in range of just the one um, that, you are, that your formation is shooting at, that, that's the money right there. Because that's max two damage coming into one of your ships. And you could just pump damage into uh, into one of those Y wings. Okay, there you go. He's doing doing the bank. Looks like he probably doesn't need to barrel roll. We'll see though. Okay, he's choosing the barrel. That gives him the option to do that four straight next turn if he wants to. Because the w way it, you know, I love Dan's positioning right now. Because if he wants to, Dan Dan has two choices here, really. Um, he can bank to the left and take the, the path between those top two rocks. Or continue straight and go through that gap that I think Nate was probably shooting towards the next turn. We will probably have an engagement here. Now, I believe Nate is using the dice app, so we might have some issues um, seeing what the uh, what the damage is. But we'll do our best. So if you were Dan here, give me a one if you would bank to the left, and give me a two if you would go forward. <laughs> what would you do in this situation? Let me know. Couple votes there for continuing straight. I'm also talking in a lower voice because the room I'm commentating in isn't that far away from the from the competitors table, and I'm trying my best not to be obtrusive. Let me know if I'm talking too soft. I could possibly turn up some uh, some things. If you can hear me, that's great. Here, uh, here, Nate is contemplating whether wh what whether Dan's going to be doing that banker straight. So, I'm going to guess that. I'm going to have to get really quiet here because it, it's getting really quiet by that table. Um, if Dan goes forward, I think the question is, what is the speed, right? Because Nate, oh, Nate doesn't have unhinged, does he? He doesn't because he spent the points on the on the seismic charges. Hmm. Well, we'll see. See what happens. Flips all those dials. All right, he's going too forward. He's kind of cutting the middle. Um, one of Dan's ships is definitely going to get TLT um, four times. If he controls range, he might be able to to get out of that back corner, that uh, Y wing number four, be able to get out of his range. We'll see what happens. Okay, kind of cuts the middle there, three forward. We'll have to see whether or not that's in range. Uh, 
Um, I am, <laughs> I am Hat Dave. Uh, that was one of the questions I had pretty quickly uh, when he refused to be on the stream. So I have no idea. Um, hopefully not. But uh, if if that is the case, I will definitely tell you guys. Um, because any competitor can refuse to be on a stream. Um, yeah, I hope he doesn't do that to you guys. I hope he doesn't do that to me. That would be really uh, kind of crappy to miss the cul culmination. <laughs> well, the store gave me permission to stream. Um, so... Alrighty, got that dice app going here. damage on that shot. should probably mark that ship to determine whether or not it's in arc. I mean, uh, whether it's in range or not. Focus for two. Two. Got two, no damage. Spend the focus. All right, that no damage yet. All right, that'll be one damage there. On, I believe that is backdraft. And that is a second shield off of backdraft. I'll go double check, and I'm pretty sure he took two shields on backdrop. So that's three shields gone on um, backdraft. Um, I have to say that the, in the opening engagement there, uh, Nate definitely got the better of it.
All right, and that is confirmed that the Y-Wings took zero damage. And for everybody watching, if you're not aware, all the games from this store championship will be uploaded to our YouTube page. That is youtube.com um, slash C slash Gold Squadron Podcast. Or you can go the easy way and just search Gold Squadron Podcast. Please uh, like and subscribe. So Nate here is turning in the Y wing. I think he's gonna take advantage of that. Uh, Nate's gonna be bringing those primary weapons to bear here. He's, uh, I think, he's hoping to see if he can take take back draft out this turn. And yes, that is confirmed. That is back draft there in the front. And you know what? I just realized something, guys. I assume they were Syndicate Thugs because uh, I saw four TLTs. They're actually Gold Squadron Y-Wings. <laughs> so I'll, uh, I'll change that out here in a minute. Did backdraft? Did backdraft bump? I wasn't looking at the screen. Can can you go? Are you sure? You saw it happen. Just double check. Okay, and man, quick draw here. Not getting an action. Uh, you know, I, I liked Dan's uh, initial approach, um, but uh, no, I think Nate Nate might get the better of uh, of these SFs this turn. I don't think Quick Draw might have a shot on that back Y wing there in the corner, but uh, I'm, I'm not I'm not convinced of that. And here, guys, I'm gonna swap out those uh, Syndicate thugs for Gold Squadron pilots. And here we go. That's what I like to see, Gold Squad. What is happening right now? We are marking Omega Leader to check to see if he has Arc and. Nate pulled out a few dice there on his uh, his dice app, so. Spending focus. That's Omega Leader attacking there. Two shields on number. Number two took two. Get a little targeting synchronizer action there.
had them attack um, a knight over here. Okay, so this guy's gonna attack because they can't hit this now, so this guy's gonna keep them. So I'm gonna do TLT on the mega leader. Just hit the rock. Just hit the rock. I got one. Right there. Second shot. I'll spend it for two. Alrighty, he is spending it. We got in arc, three dice. And um, I'll spend a target lock on these two. Three rolling, so we're gonna spend a target lock. And I got hit crit crit. Hit crit crit. Go crit crit. Major explosion. Major explosion hits. Major explosion. Oh. Major explosion. Oh my god. Jesus. Oh, man. So, double major explosion into... <laughs> oh, God. All right. So, backdraft is dead. Uh, very, very dead. <laughs> oh, my God. That was brutal. Oh, man. It looks like Nate's taking a TLT shot here. That is one shield off of what looks to be Omega Leader. So this uh, this engagement here is definitely leaning towards Nate's way. You know, Nate is almost down a Y wing, but uh, Dan not being able to drop a Y wing is really going to hurt. Because he has to waste another turn shooting that injured Y wing. Now those Y wings in the back, I believe, are the ones that have. Let's see, they started in this formation. They turned again. No, the ones in the back don't have the bombs. It's the ones that are closest to the right have the bombs. So the uh, scum Y-Wing has a bomb. Number two, the injured one, does not. Looks like one of the Y-Wings didn't shoot. Uh, yeah, that is correct. I'm, I'm fairly certain it is the scum Y-Wing and the one in front of the sky scum Y-Wing that has the bombs. Now, Omega Leader here is in a weird... She's in a really weird spot. Like normally, uh, in situations like this, I like to disengage uh, and try to find another vector of attack, but I don't know. Omega leader's the one that took the, the, took the damage last turn, right? One shield? Okay. okay. Yeah, usually I like to disengage, but I mean, Dan does not really have a good spot. He can't get into range one. Uh, he can't get in that bubble. Nate is probably going to come fast. Um, Part two barrel roll could get maybe into range one if Omega Leader does that, but the Y wings, I mean, what? Nate should probably do a three forward. Is the four forward red on the Y wing, Dale? Don't know off the top of my head. Let me know. Is he going to break apart the formation? Oh, I think he might hit this rock. 
Oh, Nate. Sloppy, sloppy play. Why? Why would you do that? Misses. Why would he do that? So he's claiming that uh, he accidentally put the dials in the wrong order, but he just screwed up. So. But it is what it is. Uh, this is why I don't. I am not a fan of flipping all the dials at once because stuff like that happens. So if Nate gets past this game, uh, he should definitely, definitely not do that again next turn. You know, just flip one at a time. Be patient. There's nothing wrong with it. And these games are happening right next to each other, um, and we'll get you the. Some information on the other game uh, once this one is done. Uh, Shazbot, I agree. It wouldn't happen if you put it <laughs> next to the ships. I'll say Nate is uh, one of uh, uh, list for the other game. I believe are uh, a Miranda um, Nicholas Nicholas Tobin. He was the Chicago regional winner. He's flying Nans Torf's World List, and the other competitor. I'm not sure off the top of my head. I can uh, find that out. So looks like we have an obstructed shot here for quick draw, and that's two blanks. Uh, he should uh, engage that uh, into FCS. And Omega Leader, range two through a rock. Uh, Juke is active, two hits. Spends the focus, takes one damage, and that's one hole left on that gold squadron Y wing. Marking that Y wing, seeing if uh, we have an obstructed shot or not. I think trying to get to Omega Leader. It is in range. Spending for three. He's gonna make him spend that evade token, or is he gonna take the damage? He's taking the he's taking the damage. That is another card. Omega Leader has one hole left. Omega Leader is dead. He could have, he might have been able to save him if he spent the evade last turn uh, on the uh, first attack. And it looks like Nate is deciding not to finish his other attacks. Um, his other attack with the Y wing, um, because it's the hurt one, and he doesn't want to hit with quick draw. Going over that rock. Looks like 
looks like a focus. Two cash going away. I mean, the bowl's really in Dan's court here. Attempts for target lock. Out of range. Basically doing a, a soft range check there. You should definitely take a target lock here with that back Y wing because backdrop's going to go away. Target lock, do it. There it is. Uh, it is the dice lap is is legal. Um, yeah, it's just I mean it's whoever it's their prerogative. And that target lock is out. So he did gain one target lock out of that, which is pretty good. Dan's gonna really have to uh, do some work here, and try to leverage um, quick draws ability. Now. I know that uh, that Y wing that's kind of sitting on its own, it was a uh, it was a mistake, right? Um, because he moved the wrong ship there, or he flipped the dial for the wrong ship. But um, it might actually work out for him because he if he has, uh, if you can just start uh, poking away at those shields of quick draw, um, it could work out. But uh, I think the better idea though is to ring that. Lonely Y-Wing, uh, try to get it back in formation uh, or as close as possible with uh, with the others and then just uh, just face the wrath of uh, of quick draw face uh, head on because uh, those three dice and you know Dan will have a focus token. I think you can burn through all the shields in one turn. You might lose a Y-Wing and then in the second turn after the second engagement after that you'll uh, you should be able to kill him or maim them for the next turn. Alrighty. Dan's got to give chase. The range three game is definitely to Nate's advantage because uh, Dan does not get um, extra dice uh, at range three, but Nate does. <laughs> now they're definitely out of range here for this attack, and uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, coming into this match, it was a bad matchup for Dan. Uh, no auto thrusters. The lightweight frame helps, but um, that is rough. He's bringing him around the horn here. Nate's biding his time there with that other Y wing trying to uh, pull it into formation here in the next couple turns. One thing I'm very happy uh, with today's stream is that I haven't seen any cheating. Have you guys seen cheating? Oh, for the love of God, I hope not. <laughs> um, if you're not aware, there was there has been some uh, I illicit going ons on my stream uh, before and. Uh, we try to, we hope to limit uh, that, but I'm glad that we record because we, you know, we catch the wrongdoings and things and stuff. You can imagine how stressful it is running a stream and seeing people cheat on it. Oh, good, good Lord. All right, there we do have range uh, for an attack. And that way wing is full up, so. Two hits. Spending the focus, moving the target lock. Got three hits. And that is one damage on quick draw. 
second shot. Oh, well, here, uh, rip the, what you call it, shot, revenge shot, spending the focus for three. Takes one shield. So number one. And we got an evade. So quick draw did take a shield there. All right, we'll get a damage update here. Just triple check, make sure everything's correct. Al, so is it Y wing number one just took a damage? And quick draw has two shields. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, everything is correct. Great. Gotta love when uh when these go right. So uh, once this game is over, I will go and take a peek at that other game and uh, at least give you guys some uh, audio commentary on it. And uh, kind of let you know uh, what that other list is. Because I know I told you one is uh, Nick Tobin's flying Nan Torf's uh, world's list. And the other one I'm not completely sure off the top of my head. I can't see them from where I am. That Y wing came around. I mean, uh, quick draw is going to get pounded here. It's going to get absolutely pounded. And you know, if if this was Swiss, maybe you just run with quick draw and save the points. But in uh, in a in this elimination rounds, it uh, there's nothing you could do. You know, you have to you have to kill all of your opponent's ships in order to uh, to go on. So um, Dan's trying to control range, see if he can maybe get one of them in arc, see if he can maybe um, pick off the hurt one, which I believe is the one without the ship on it. Nate did a good job of putting it behind the rock there. It's going to have three dice if quick draw is uh, three dice and a focus for defense on that Y wing if quick draw has, uh, has a shot. Yeah, he's got, he has range three. Got two. Um, I'll spend, it so I don't get anything. Um, spend it. Takes no damage on that Y wing. That's a damage. Maybe it wasn't a damage. Dice, no dice there for Dan. Uh, you know, he loses the shield on quick draw. Doesn't get to to leverage that ability. That is rough. All right. 
right, there we go. Leveraging that focus token. That's a damage card. So all those shields are gone on quick draw. That's another damage card. I mean, unfortunately, that is the game. Uh, you know, one more hole left um, on quick draw. You know, that initial approach by Dan, I honestly really liked it. Uh, I liked his vector, and things just kind of got funky. He, Him turning uh, rather than going straight really hurt him because if he would have gone straight, he probably could have had range one shots on uh, and one on one Y wing and be able to just take it off. Uh, hey, Michael Collins. Uh, the other game, uh, the one of the competitors, uh, it's Nick Tobin versus uh, another gentleman. Uh, the other gentleman did not want to be on the stream. Uh, if he doesn't want to play uh, on the stream, then uh, we're. I guess we're kind of uh, <laughs> SOL. But uh, we'll see. Could uh, Raven Cat, your question about could he have barrel rolled out of a shot? I don't know. Oh, Nate! Uh, Nate's getting aggressive here. I mean, he has all four of his Y wings alive. Uh, this is the top four. Um, the other gentlemen did not want to be on the stream, so I could not stream their game. So, uh, you know, while I know that TLTs are, uh, you know, <laughs> looked down upon in the community, uh, Nate is doing some really good flying. He's controlling ranges. He's getting ships that are hurt behind rocks. He's doing a lot of things. So don't just uh, don't check out because you don't like TLT. Look at how the flying happened. Okay, so that I think that last Y wing finally eats it. Getting that TLT. And that's the game. So Nate um, was able to uh, he was able to get get that uh, that opening engagement that he needed. Um, not quite not not quite tabled, but uh, a rough game for Dan. I mean, he really needed uh, to try to isolate one of those single Y wings, but I think Nate did a good job of not letting him do that. So uh, I'm going to go take a peek at that other game. I'm going to see if we can get some interviews with the players who just finished, and uh, we'll go from there.